This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Use the link in the description or code TTS for 83% off and one additional month free. What's up guys, the tech spot here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get live video wallpapers on your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch. This is super exciting. Alright, now of course this does require a jailbreak. Apple would never let you do this on stock iOS. So if you still have yet to jailbreak, I will have my video on Tongbu linked down below in the description and in that video I also outline which jailbreak to use depending on your device. So be sure to watch that video to see which jailbreak to use for your specific device in that video and all right so now that you are joe broken on ios 13 what you want to do first is open up Cydia and then tap on source at the bottom edit on the top right add on the top left and first type in the source zx02 dot urepo.com once type that in tap on add source it'll start verifying the url and add the source right quick now once it's done tap on return to Cydia, and we want to add another source so again tap on edit on the top right Add on the top left. This time we're going to type in June's iPhone.com slash super secret slash. So again, make sure you type it in exactly like that and then tap on add source again. It'll start verifying the URL and add the source. Once that is done, tap on return to Cydia and we just need one more source. So again, tap on add on the top right, add on the top left. And this time we're going to be typing in repo.packix.com. Again, make sure you type in the source exactly like that and then tap on add source and we are done with adding sources from here. Now the packix repo might take a little bit more time to install, just be patient. And finally, it is done. So tap on return to Cydia and now tap on search in the bottom right. And the first one to search up for is frame. So type in frame and there it is right here. Make sure it's by the Z repo that we added. So ZX02 at the very bottom, you guys can see that's the right one. So anyways, at the top, you wanna go and tap on install and then tap on continue queuing because we do need two more things. So let's go back and we're also gonna install Zen HTML. So again, there it is, tap on it. Again, make sure this one is from the Packix repo. So again, Packix, there we go, we're good to go. Let's go and tap on modify and install. And again, hit continue queuing again because we need one more thing now. Let's go back and we're gonna type in Zen info. This time it's just one word and let's go and tap on it and make sure this one is from June's iPhone. So there it is, June's iPhone. Let's go and tap on modify and install at the bottom. And now we have our three tweaks. We got frame, Zen HTML, and Zen info. Let's go and tap on confirm now. And now it will go ahead and install all three tweaks. There we go, let's restart Springboard. And we are back at our lock screen. Now for you, it won't be enabled because you didn't enable the tweak before. So let's go to unlock our device. And what you wanna do is tap on settings and now scroll over to frame. So scroll down to your tweaks and there it is, frame. So first thing you wanna do is of course, enable the tweak using that toggle. And you can also disable the tweak every time you enable low power mode. So every time your phone goes into lower power mode, then it will actually disable the tweak to save your battery. On the iPhone 11 over here, I actually still get really good battery life, so I'm not really worried about this tweak. And it can also make it so that the V wallpaper pauses when you're inside an application, for example, or settings, so that's not running right now, so that it does save your battery as well. Now, this is the cool part, all right? So we can tap on choose wallpapers. Next, see, I already chose this video wallpaper that I have. And by the way, if you want it, I guess I'll post it somewhere so you guys can download it as well. It's, it looks really cool. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That looks super, super cool. Anyways, let's go back over here. You can choose any video that's on your device. So I can tap on choose video and I can choose from the files app or your actual photo gallery. So let's go over here and check it out. I have this video over here of Boogle. So anyways, I'm gonna go use that. So let's go tap on choose and I can set it to my home screen or lock screen or both. I'm gonna tap on home screen and let's exit out of here. And boom, you can see now it's Boogle in the background. So you can see it's an actual video. It plays the entire thing, which is really, really cool. It's really awesome, guys. And you can literally do any video on your entire camera roll. So for example, I could even do this one right here. Let's go ahead and use it. Boom. All right, I'm gonna hit choose and I'm gonna put on my lock screen, I mean home screen. And let's exit out of here and look at that, guys. It works really well. Now, again, you can just do about anything with this, any wallpaper, all right, or video. 
and it's really really cool there's a clip from cars 2 that i screen captured and then just imported onto my device using airdrop and i just put it on and and honestly it doesn't look the best but i just want to show you guys you can put basically any video on here which is really really cool so the possibilities are endless all right now check this out guys i have more wallpapers for you guys these are video wallpapers so down below in the description i will have two links and these are for downloading video wallpapers so you guys can see this one's moving too it looks very very cool and anyways the first one is called pixabay so if i go to scroll down right off the bat we do have a bunch of live wallpapers i can go and choose from and let's say i want this one right here so i go to just go and tap on it tap on the free download and I go and download any of these formats. They're super high quality in HD. So tap on download. It'll bring this up. Tap on download again. And we are downloading right here. Now, while that's downloading, I'm also going to go in and search for some more. Let's go ahead and type in, um, I don't know. Let's just do space. So I'm going to type in space. I get some space live wallpapers. So, whoa. Look at all these guys. They're amazing. So let's say I want, I don't know. You guys choose one. Which do you guys want? Um, do you want this one? Um, do you want the fire one? Let's try the fire one. That would be really cool. All right, so let's tap on free download over here too again. And again, all these are completely free. So again, choose a resolution, super high quality in HD. Tap on download and it'll start downloading there too. So here it is. So just tap on download. And again, we're downloading that one as well. Now the C1 is done. So once it's done, all you got to do is go and tap on it. And what you want to do then is tap on this button right here. And you go to save the video to your camera roll or your files app. So I'll be showing you guys how to use both. So first I'm just going to save the video to my camera. I'll show you guys how that works. Exit out of there and then open up my settings application. Head back over to frame, choose wallpapers, choose video, photos. There it is right over here in my recents. Boom. So all I got to do is tap on choose. It'll start compressing the video. Just like that, it'll start loading and it'll pop up right here. So I can set it as both again or whatever I want. Exit out of here and look at that. That's just so beautiful. So it's actually moving very subtly. I can see right there. So you guys have a more subtle one. Now let's go back over here and let's go ahead and tap on the second one so that we downloaded. So I'm gonna go back over to my downloads. There it is, the fire one. And let's say if you wanna save it to your files app, how does that work? So I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my files app to show you guys how that works. Or actually, it looks like I don't get the option. So let's just save the video to our camera again. But I do have a video in my files app, so I'll be showing you guys that too. But let's go ahead and set this one, see what it looks like. So let's go back over here, choose video, photos, and boom, 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 both. And just like that, look at this. Now we got a fire one. So it's kind of moving subtly in the background. So that's super, super cool. Now let's go back over to choose video. And I did airdrop a wallpaper from my Mac to my iPhone. And I put it in the My Files app. So if I go into the Files app right here, I go to tap on it. So there it is. And again, I can set it as both again, just like that. So there you go. Look at that. Now, the second link I'll be showing you guys is over here. It's called Vedivo.net. And again, they have a bunch of stock footage I could use as well. So up at the top, tap on all videos and it'll be brought right here. Now I could choose by different filters or categories. So let's do, for example, I'm going to choose motion backgrounds and whoa, look at that one. All right. So this is going to be colorful, definitely. So I'm going to go and tap right here and here we are. So again, free download and download again. It'll start downloading. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm super excited. So it's going to save it to our camera roll and exit out of here, open it up in frames and photos. We're going to go to our recents, boom, boom. And it's like that, add it to both. Whoa. Okay. That is crazy. That is crazy. This one has some pretty crazy ones. So again, the possibilities are endless. You can literally download a video wallpaper from anywhere. And again, if you have any cool ones that you want to share, link them down below in the comments so people can check them out. So again, this one will be the link down below in the comments. I mean, not the comments, but the description. But I was thinking, guys, if you do have any of your own that you want to share, um, link it down below in the comments. I'll try to approve all comments and links. So if you have any, please be sure to share and post them because I'm sure many people want to see your cool ideas too for video wallpapers. And so yeah, this is really cool. Also again, as far as battery life goes on my iPhone 11, I could still go a full day and some more. So the battery life on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is amazing, but on other devices, it might not be as good. So it, it is going to drain some battery, okay? But surprisingly for me, it doesn't drain that much battery. I don't really notice it that much. So it's really cool. It tries to work as efficiently as possible. And this is one of those tweaks that you really show off to your friends and family when you jailbreak your device to show them that 
the true power of drill breaking is there and like what you can do with it so it's so so cool that is just awesome okay this looks like something out of UFC on a concept or something that's not real but it is real also the only other downside for this tweak besides a slight hit to battery life is that sometimes it does crash your springboard so you have to go back in and then restart a springboard this usually happens with trying to move an app icon to a different spot or sometimes when opening up a notification from your lock screen anyways guys I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to smash that like button also be sure to subscribe for tons more exciting content enjoy your video wallpapers and peace out